figured a perfect time to discuss some growing pains that justices have. Some signs that you guys can look for when your dog has growing pains. One telltale sign is your dog's probably going to want to be napping more. That doesn't necessarily mean they have growing pains. And even if they're sleeping more, that doesn't mean they're in pain. But that's just one sign to look for if your dog has growing pains. You may notice that they're sleeping a lot more than normal. If you notice your dog has unprovoked whimpering or whining, justice has been doing that the past few days. That is most likely a sign of growing pains if you know they're not injured. Now with all of this stuff, you have to make sure your dog doesn't actually have an injury. I'm just wrapping up JJ's breakfast right now because he didn't eat all his food. And that's another sign that your dog's in pain, guys aka they could be having growing pains like Justice has right now, is you'll see a loss of appetite. And you may be thinking, the dog's growing. You think they'd have a bigger appetite. But there's a couple things in play right here. He's very hormonal right now. He's going through a lot of hormone stages on top of having growing pains. So it's just really killing his appetite where he's just not wanting to eat that much. It's hot out today. So all that can play into him eating less. And yes, I do have some cooked food on here because as you guys know, Bruce Wayne has some kidney stones. So I'm changing his diet for now to cooked food because cooking food makes it more acidic. And he has, I believe, struvite stones, which means his pH is too high. I need to bring his pH down, meaning more acidic food. So I'm cooking it and I gave um, Justice a little bit of Bruce Wayne's cooked beef just to keep things fair. So if your dog stops eating, take note, but don't be super alarmed. Dogs stop eating all the time. It could be they smell a dog in heat. That will just kill your male dog's appetite. Could be growing pains. It could be an actual serious medical condition or they're in actual serious pain that you should go see a vet for. But just take note and then just kind of do what's best for your dog. If you're not sure if it's growing pains, take your dog to the vet. If you're pretty sure it's growing pains, just wait things out and see if all these signs line up with your dog's signs. If you notice your dog just can't get comfortable, they're tossing and turning, they're repositioning themselves a lot, they're laying in just weird, awkward, stretched out positions, that could be a great sign saying that, hey, this dude or dudette has some growing pains going on right now. So just always make sure they have a comfortable, soft place to lay. You know, we allow Bruce on the couch. We don't allow Justin on the couch, but we have plenty of big Barker beds. This is just a cheap Walmart bed. And I never recommend cheap beds because he didn't chew this and it's ripped on every single corner. And this is orthopedic. And Justice isn't crated anymore, but we still have the crate up because we just stopped uncrating him. And then here we have another big Barker bed. And this is a cold colt bed. Cold colt basically will regulate the heat so it doesn't get hot, it stays cool. Bruce Wayne, you'll often see him laying in here. Then we have another bed right over here. This is just the normal big Barker bed. And I will leave a link for you guys in the description box with some goodies that come using my link, getting one of these beds. Always, I say with any dog, but especially a giant breed dog, make sure your dog has a, a comfortable place to always lay. Highly recommend, it's worth the price, guys. Don't cheap out on your dog's bed. And even you guys, don't cheap out on your own mattress. You spend one third of your life sleeping. You need to support your joints. And the same for your dogs. They spend more than one third of their life sleeping. Always make sure they have a soft place to lay if they choose. I took Justice out for a bike ride. I know what he can handle. And I know what he can't handle right now at this age. When I get on the canal, I take the dog's leash off them and I have them on a heel next to my bike. And I noticed about three quarters of a mile away, oh no. The leash isn't in my pocket, it fell out. It fell out exactly where I put it in my pocket. So I had to drive all the way back with Justice and all the way back. So it was like an extra mile and a half added to his walk. He had a slight limp that evening. And it wasn't bad, he still wanted to play. I'm like, yup, overdid it. And because I was overdoing it, it led to pain in the joint and uh, I think it was his front left. It was gone the next day, he was back to normal. But any slight limps your dog may have, that could be a sign of growing pains. With this dude, I was like so freaked out. He'd be limping one day, he wouldn't be limping the next day. Then he'd be limping on his other front leg the, the next day. Then he wouldn't be limping anymore for like three weeks. And then he'd just be like whining and stuff because he's in pain out of nowhere, even though he didn't over exercise. And I understood what it was before. I've had dogs my whole life but it was never to the degree that it was with Bruce because Bruce is my first giant breed dog. You grow so much different than the typical dog. 
even large dogs, guys. A large dog is just so much different than a giant breed dog. So after this dude, I learned not to worry every second about every limp, whine, and whimper that comes out of my dog. Anybody else find it really comforting just to listen to your dog's breath? Even his snores are just very comforting. You guys can't hear, actually you probably can hear it. Let me see, I'll put the mic up there. It's just so comforting to me. I love you so much, bud. And you may also notice that your dog just may have some slight stiffness. They're a little bit slower to move. They're slower to get up. They're slower to sit down. That probably means your puppy has some growing pains going on. Or the medical term, I believe is called panostitis. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Those are some great signs that may indicate your dog is going through growing pains. Make sure you guys check out this video up here on the right where I discuss remedies to help your dog through their growing pains. Until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, and myself, we see you later. Peace. Oh, I love you, big boy.